Okay, a group I'm in uh, on Facebook today I saw someone mention spinning a singles with just three fibres in it. Uh, so I'm going to try and show you how to do it. I'm not sure the camera will focus that well, but we'll give it a go. I've got a supported spindle here, as that's going to be way easier than messing about with the tension on a wheel. I've made a leader out of a fine silk thread and uh, put a loop in the end of my leader there. And this is a Cormo fibre hand, uh, hand combed top. So uh, first what I will do is pinch off the loop, put loads of twist into this piece here of the leader. Right. Move up a little bit I think. Maybe zoom out. I've got a lot of twists built up here. I'm not going to try and start off with three fibres, maybe uh, maybe ten or so, and we'll get down to three after we spin for a bit. So at the end of my top, I'll just pinch a few fibres off and pull them to a loop. Overlap on the other side, that wasn't quite enough, that was just one or two. these fingers, the twist from here will jump into that thread. Right, there we go. So I want to get loads more twist into that. And then where you want to, I'll try and zoom in again and see. Uh, I can get it right on my fingertips. Where I want to be looking is this point here, just past my thumbnail, as that's where the fibres will be pulled out and the twist will be added. So you can see here I've got quite a few, but if I keep on drafting and drafting and drafting, and put some tension on it to let the twist into it, I'm down to about six or so there. I will. Uh, it's hard without two cameras, so just have to excuse me while I get enough twist into that to then be able to wind on a bit. And again, I'm putting twist here into a short leader and holding it between thumb and forefinger here to pull some of the twist out of that area so I can draft it smoothly. Now I'm down to about five or six fibres here so I'll let that twist back in and put extra twist and then again pull out, that's probably two or three fibres, uh, three or four maybe. Again when you get this fine, you need so much twist. So, so, so much twist. Wind on. Got a twist built up in there. And again, roll it back through thumb and forefinger a little bit to allow it to draft out. And so you want to let the tension off, you can see just how few fibres are in there. And it's picked out back on itself, which is a little bit annoying. Roll it out between thumb and finger, there we go. Wind that on and some more twisting. And you can 
can see here the fibres are still open so you can see there's three fibres there at least I can, I'm not sure if the camera wants to focus put some more twist in and on You see down there, I've gone down to one fibre, but that is going to break now. So I do not want to let twist into this area, otherwise uh, it's uh, never going to join. So I'll get my twist back here. Overlap and grab just one fibre from that. And there we go, I've got a successful-ish join, still need some more twist 